Hi guys, welcome to TechPaste. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev and the beta channels of the Windows Insider program. This is one of the last builds that will be released for both the beta and the dev channels because the dev channel will soon move on to the version 25H2. In this video, we're talking about the build 26120.3291. And of course, as always, we're going to talk about what is new, what has changed, and also what is fixed in this latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev and the beta channels. In this build, of course, we have a lot of new improvements for AI stuff. Those are, of course, related to Copilot Plus PCs. So if you don't have a Copilot Plus PC, you should not worry about it. But basically, Microsoft is improving Windows Search, where you can find files directly saved into the cloud. And also, it improves Windows Recall, the new AI feature that basically saves everything you do on your system with your permission, of course. And Microsoft is also improving Windows Search in the taskbar with the extended support for finding photos saved in the cloud. And also, you can use just words to find photos because AI will search within photos depending on the description that you provide. Other things related to AI, the summarize text action and click to do now has the option to summarize into bullet points as discovered by Phantom of Earth on Twitter. There's also a new option that was backported to Dev and Beta, allow HDR video streaming when HDR is off. You're gonna find this option inside settings, system display, and then HDR. Other than that, in this build, Microsoft is also announcing the deprecation and removal of Microsoft support diagnostic tool. This build includes several changes that direct MSDT troubleshooter links and control panel to settings system and then troubleshoot in this update there's also a nice new feature added to snipping tool of course you can open out the microsoft store go to downloads and then click on get updates get all the latest updates for all your microsoft store apps and then after you open snipping tool and select the recording function click on new select a location and then let's start recording a quick video here once you stop the recording we're going to notice that this recording will be opened up in snipping tool and we also have this new option which is trim video trim and we can use this to trim parts of our video really quickly. Basically a quick little editor that you can use to cut out the parts that you don't want or don't like from a recording that you've done with the snipping. Then you can click on apply and the final result will be basically the recording that you've edited. So I think this is a great new feature added to snipping tool and uh, Microsoft is really doing a good job here. Now talking about fixes in this build related to the file explorer, Microsoft fixed a few issues impacting file explorer reliability for insiders. Fix an issue where opening file explorer from the command line may result in the address bar being empty and not displaying the current path. Fix an issue where you couldn't select multiple files in the recommended section of home by holding shift and clicking the files. Related to power and battery, Microsoft fix an issue which could cause color profiles not load correctly after waking up your PC from sleep. Also related to the remote desktop connection, they fix an issue where this wouldn't use UDP, only TCP. There are also a few additional fixes and also known issues that are present for people that have Copilot Plus PCs. And of course, if you have that you can check out the article below or the official Microsoft blog post if you are interested in that. So this is basically the latest build for the beta and the dev channels. If you enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBase channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. I was Emmanuel from TechBase until next time have a nice day.